Well, you know, to start off, you know, what what was it like starting on this project? Because on paper, I I can only imagine that it sounds very complex. I mean, there's a lot of editing involved in the storytelling uh, and and so much else. So what was that like to take on? There were definitely points, this is my first feature, and there were definitely points in the five years from starting to write it all the way up through to pre-production and everything where I thought like, what was I thinking, you know, doing this? Like, you know, I'm I'm taking on like trying to shoot one actor for two, that whole thing that has its technical challenges and, and emotional challenges and that kind of stuff. And then setting it in the near future and having to design self-driving cars and video games and operating systems and all that stuff. Right. Um, so yeah, it was definitely, I bit off a lot. Um, and then the thing, I think you mentioned the editing as well. And that was another thing that was tricky because I knew, I always knew like from early on that I wanted the present day to have a different look and feel to the, to the memories. Right. And with the present day, we're more considered and, and, you know, we've, we've got sort of, it, the, 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 you know, there's more symmetricality, we're slow push-ins, we're kind of more locked off a little bit. Um, and whereas for the, for the past, for the memories, I wanted us to be really like free flowing and, you know, sort of dancing with the characters and subjective and handheld. Right. And so that was a challenge too, in just designing that and making sure it all pieced together. So, yeah, it was, it was a lot, you know, and, and I, I just hope it's, uh, yeah, I hope it all, it all, has come across in, in, in how we, we wanted it to, you know. It's wonderful. And the idea that this is your first oh, feature you. is astonishing because really yeah. what you've accomplished is is so seamless. It feels so smooth. Uh, everything oh, is so well done. I appreciate that. That's really kind. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's talk about your cast because, I mean, aside from there's so many technical feats here, but your cast really carries so much of, the meaning and the purpose here. What was it like working with them? Because you've got uh, three core amazing actors. I mean, it was, it's funny. I was just chatting to my parents about this the other day and we were talking about it where it's like, I went from making a short movie that did well and then got a chance to kind of do this and started writing it and then cut to four years later and I'm walking onto set, there's 200 people, all these trucks, like, you know, everyone looking at me and I'm about to work with Mahersh Lali and Naomi Harris and Glenn Close and Aquafina. It's just like, it's weird because you, you day by day, you, you take it day by day and over the years and then suddenly it's there and it's like, oh my God, this is crazy. But you've kind of taken it in little bite-sized steps but truly to get to work with the caliber of actors I have, you know, with a master like Mahershala and with the rest of our actors, Naomi, Glenn, like I feel so, so lucky and grateful getting to work with them was an education. It was a joy. It was challenging in the, in the best possible way all the way through. And I just, yeah, I just feel really blessed to have, uh, to have gotten to, to do that. And, and like you say, I think, what they what they did and what they achieved. I'm really, really proud of it. And the idea too that I mean there's so much chemistry for starters. I mean that was one of my favorite parts too is that right from every scene on the train, the chemistry between them is so powerful. It's so wonderful. Uh did you have any direction for them in any of this or did do you like how did you direct them? What was the the goal there? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the first part of it is is casting, right? And and trying to get that right and having a feeling in your gut that there's going to be that chemistry there. You do take a leap of faith, but I remember the the greatest joy for a writer is to write scenes like this, right? And then turn up on the day and just have it totally your imagination for what it could be totally surpassed. And that was happening on a daily basis. Um my direction starts early, like way in pre-production, you know, where I'm developing the characters and like suggesting sort of backstory um, ideas that might spark ideas and, and things like that for the actors. And so far, I found that to be a really good uh, way of building, building it up so that by the time we get to set, we've, we've really sort of um, already gotten somewhere with the characters. And then that also allows us to improv, which I like to do quite a bit of. Um, in this movie, it was mainly for the memories. We were doing quite a bit of improv for the snippets, not for stuff like the train, but for the shorter memories, a lot of that was improv. And that was really like the first day we shot, we did um, 
a half day where we just did a fully improv wedding, wedding stuff for Naomi and Mahershala. And as a director, that's the kind of thing you do just to go, OK, let's like feel our way in here and hopefully, you know, get everyone into that great place where they're just, you know, they feel like they're in a place of trust and, and of support and that they can find things themselves without it being like straight in and the in the the more pressurized scene. So there's things like that. And then on the day, you know, you're you're always you're taking good things and hoping that little things you do can make them great. That's all you're doing. You're not trying to save anything ever. It's just like beautiful work being done. And um all your, you know, sometimes it's about not having a note and knowing when to hold back and and things like that. But with collaborators like Naomi and Mahershala um and the rest of the cast, it was it was just wonderful because we were all a team working together to try and elevate the scenes and what can we pop into subtext? What doesn't need to be said? All those kind of things. I'm totally digressing. I could just talk about that stuff for, for days, as you can see. <laughs> I have, I have so many questions that we'll never get to, unfortunately, but because I mean, even the, the UI, the user experience stuff that you do and everything else is really fascinating, but oh, you know, you. on another level, filmmaking wise, did anything surprise you? Was there anything that you ended up, planning or prepping that didn't go as planned that that turned out better perhaps or or changed um i mean on set things you what you want is to go in and and for things to happen that you you didn't you know foresee and just sort of like i was saying it was great to be surprised by what what the actors were doing right and find things i am a meticulous planner you know i boarded pretty much the whole movie um, like 90% of it probably. Um, and so, you know, there is that there, but then you want to be able to throw that book out the window and, and, and find what's, what's fresh. So, um, yeah, there were, there were definitely scenes in there. There's def there's, there's scenes in there where I go, wow, that's totally surpassed what I wanted to go for, you know, um, which is a beautiful thing. I have a, a strange question perhaps, and I don't know if this is part of the script or something that where it came into play but um there the, have you heard is there any connection here to douglas adams biscuit story because uh the scene on the train where they're uh he's taking the cookies uh i i know that story from years ago from douglas adams and when he was on late night television he would talk about it. was that an inspiration or is it is it just happenstance no that's happenstance well <laughs> What's it called? Douglas Adam Biscuits? Well, yeah, so Douglas Adams was on late night television at one point, and he told this story, I think, to Letterman or someone. And oh. uh, it's it's the exact same kind of thing about, about the biscuits. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so funny. It actually comes from one of my best friends. It happened to his sister um, years ago. It was actually, it was a Kit Kat bar in a hotel in Dublin. <laughs> and uh, I remember hearing it and, like, just always thinking it was amazing. And then it just popped up into my mind. And I thought, oh, that'd be such a great way for the first meeting, right? Well, I'll have to check that out. I'd love if I could find footage of that or something. So Douglas yeah, on, Adams- On YouTube, yeah. he you can find the video of Douglas Adams actually telling the story and the, his delivery is, is phenomenal. But it was so funny. I'm sitting there going, I wonder if this is on purpose, but it is such a great meet cute, if you will. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my God. And that like just going back to some of your other really sort of interesting questions about this, like in the ha that scene, right, as written, you really do rely on great actors to to bring that scene to life in a way that feels really believable and nuanced and doesn't veer into sort of being too saccharine or anything like that. And just that was one of the moments shooting that I remember I had zero sleep I was just like a walking zombie that day but I remember just being like wow just watching and being like wow look how Mahershala and Naomi are navigating their way through this scene it's just magic so um I'm digressing but it was just it was a, it was a magic moment in the movie because it is lighter it's one of those beautiful lighter moments in the movie that I love and um seeing what they did with that material was just a joy it helps sell the, the whole story. So it's it's fantastic. Thank you oh. so much for the time. I really appreciate it. No, thank you so much, Andrew. Appreciate it. Great to meet you. Thanks. You too. Have a great day. All right. Cheers. Cheers.